Hello everyone, welcome to the Computer Laboratory session entitled Conventional Water Treatment Plant Design. To start the work, we click on Software on the desktop and now you can see the interface of the software. On the top you can see menu bar for performing the task related to the program. Next, there is a toolbar where you can find frequently used commands. On the left side, Unit Processes where all the commonly used water treatment processes are included. Next, we have a layout where all water treatment processes are designed. And at the bottom we can see Effluence Summary window, which displays the results of treatment. To start the work, we go to the file on menu bar and click New. It will open new layout by default. Next, on menu bar we go to the view and click Preferences. Here you can change the preferences. I will keep the default one. So, to save the preferences, click Accept. Then, from menu bar we select the model and click Effluent Limits. And now, in opened window, we check the effluent limits for Jardia, Virus and Crypto. Then, we will make change on effluent limits using EPA National Primary Drinking Water Regulations. The link to the regulation website can be found on model homepage. In order to change the unit, we clicked on triangle next to the unit and specify the unit that is required. We will change the limits of Jardia, Virus and Crypto using table 1 in handout. When effluent limits is set, we click Accept. And now, in Unit Processes, we click on Influent tab, drag Raw Water Influent icon and drop on Layout. Then right-click in Raw Water Influent icon and select Edit Parameters. And now we upload parameters of Influent from Table 2 in Handout. From here we can see that the hardness of water is higher than acceptable range, so we have to soft the water. Ok, now we have to save the influent data by clicking Accept. To soft the water we have to add chemical. On Unit Process we click on Chemical tab and drag Chemical Addition on Layout. Then right click on Chemical Addition Process and select Edit Parameters. One of the chemicals that is used to soft the water is lime. We will use it in 45 mg per liter dosage. We click Accept to save the data. Next, again from Unit Processes we drag Chemical Addition to Layout. Then we go to the Parameters and another chemical that we use to soft the water is Soda Ash. We will use it in 40 mg per liter. Now we are moving to Coagulation process. One more time bring Chemical Addition to Layout and as coagulant we will use Polyaluminium Chloride in 2 mg per liter dosage. The next step is Flocculation. We drag Flocculator to Layout. On Parameters we will change Buffling Description to Plug Flow. Next. We click to Solid Separation tab on Unit Processes. Then bring the setting basin to Layout. And in Parameters, Buffling Description should be unbuffled. Next, we bring Filtration to Layout. And Filtration type will be here Conventional. The last step in water treatment is Disinfection. So we click on Chemical tab on Unit Process and drag Disinfection Addition to Layout. As disinfectant, we will use Chlorine Dioxide in dosage 1.78 mg per liter. And now we click Disinfection tab on Unit Processes and pull Contact Tank to Layout. Then on Parameters we change Buffling Description to Plug Flow. Then on Storage tab we bring Clear Well to our design. And here, buffling description should be unbuffled. And finally, we click Effluent in Unit Processes and drag Final Treated Water to Layout. And now we'll connect all processes. We bring 
cursor to the first process and we can see that cursor has become gray arrow and by holding the cursor we follow the arrow to the next process and when the arrow will become green we can release it. In this way we'll connect all processes. We can check connections by clicking this icon. Finally, we click on Calculate button on toolbar to start simulation. So here, at the bottom of the left side, we can see final effluent summary. We can check parameter value with criteria. We can see that all our values in green color, which means our result values correspond to the criteria. And now we right click to the final treated water process and select your results. So here we check the pH, hardness and turbidity. According to EPA drinking water regulation, the pH level should be in the range 6.5, 8.5. The limit for turbidity 0.3 nofflometric turbidity unit. And as we know, acceptable hardness range is 100, 150 mg per liter. Ok, the next thing that we should consider is cost effectiveness of water treatment process. By keeping the effluent limits, we should minimize the dosage of chemicals that is used in water treatment process. For example, let's reduce the dosage of lime till 44 mg per liter. Ok, now again run the calculation. And we can see that still our values correspond to the criteria and the pH, hardness and turbidity in acceptable level. So we keep continue decreasing the dosage until our values correspond to the criteria. So by now we decrease the chemical dosage of lime by 40 mg per liter. Next, let's minimize the dosage of soda ash. So here we minimize the chemical dosage to 38 mg per liter and we can see that the results is ok. And now we minimize the dosage of soda ash to 37. So we run the treatment. And here we can see that one of our effluent value doesn't correspond to the criteria. So we will slightly increase the dosage to 37.5 mg per liter and run the simulation one more time. And now we can see that all values are fine. Ok, now we'll minimize the dosage of our coagulant. Ok, so we decrease the dosage of polyaluminium chloride till 0.1 mg per liter. Ok, now let's decrease the dosage of chlorine dioxide. We'll change the dosage to 1.77 mg per liter. And here we can see that one of our value doesn't correspond to the effluent limits. So, in that case, let's keep the previous dosage. Ok, now to save the work, we click File on menu bar, select Save as, write the file name and click Save. It will save the work in Word Pro file. And now, to generate the results on Excel file, on menu bar, we click to the model and select Generate reports. Then we will make sure that all options are checked and file format is Excel. We click Accept, type the file name and save. And here Excel file provides the results for every process unit and final effluent. So our laboratory session has been completed. Thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye!